What's going on YouTube? JT is reborn here and welcome back to another edition of my DC comic book reviews and in this video we're going to be talking about Batman Detective Comics number 1083. This one is written by Ram V, art by Ricardo Federici and Stefano Raphael. The backup is written by Dan Waters and then you had another artist on that as well. So uh, we are still on this never-ending storyline. I mean this storyline is kind of I'm, I'm at the point now where I'm like okay can we wrap this thing up? I It's been going on forever so uh, I mean Basically, Batman is still in the desert from where we last left him because he has to go on his little vision quest, if you will. He's got to fight all his internal demons and come out a better man uh, like on the other side. And that's basically what we get here. Now, the, the main highlight for me is the artwork here. I think the artwork looks tremendous. There's some uh, amazing looking visuals. You have this Dr. Hurt character in there who's just, you know, testing Batman, if you will. And, you know, Batman has to kind of face through all his trials and tribulations, just ultimately come out at a better man. That's, you know, the, what it is kind of in a nutshell. Uh, we also have the question in Gotham, Renee Montoya, uh, the citizen Gotham, like crime is apparently down and everything else, but there's something kind of missing right here. And they're there to kind of get their little information to kind of bring him down for good. Uh, we also have Batman confronting Barbados, if you will. Uh, I mean, the religious stuff is there as well. I mean, I mean, it's drawing influence from a lot of things like stuff in the Bible. If you can kind of tell like the, like, you know, Batman's last temptations, like Jesus in the desert, if you will. And then Barbados is the devil kind of tempting him, but Batman being Batman is able to overcome it and like kind of take down Barbados in a way or like overcome his influence. Then he overcomes the influence of Dr. Hurt. He comes out of the deserts and then we have Talia facing off against this uh, guy. I can't really remember his name off the top of my head. Uh, but like I said, he's taken out by Batman and Batman basically has to head back to Gotham uh, where he reunites, if you will, coming in for like a, a big save uh after Jim Gordon and Renee Montoya are kind of talking to each other and she's giving them information and the Orkham family is going to try and like stop all this stuff. But you know, Batman comes back. Uh, so we're done with that desert stuff. Hopefully it'll be a lot more straightforward storyline. Now we can get rid of the Orkham family and move on to some new and exciting things. Cause the Orkhams have never been like a really exciting, like group of characters to follow. If I'm being honest, I'm just kind of excited to see this book kind of like, move on to something else because like i said uh it's moving at a very very slow pace i mean this is a really like you probably could have cut out like five issues with it and you st i feel like you still wouldn't really miss much because there's a lot of issues that feel like okay we're kind of just like filler like not too much in terms of like interesting plot revelations or anything like that i mean this is like a very slow paced storyline I, I think if you trim the fat off it and you kind of get to things a little bit quicker this probably would have come away like being a lot stronger storyline but this is just moving at such a snail's pace if you will and you really start to feel it um and, and we still have several issues left in this thing before it kind of comes to its end uh then in the backup it's written by dan waters it's focused on the dr hurt character uh basically like i said there's like some people who believe they're dr hurt if you will and you know he kind of stops them and uh, doing his mind manipulation, kind of whatever stuff, experiments, if you will. And uh, his name is Dr. Hurt, evil guy, yada, 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 art by Jorge Fornes. Uh, who cares? That's that's kind of my takeaway with the backup storylines uh, in this thing when it comes to the Dr. Hurt character. It's not all that interesting. Um, it's just kind of okay. So um, my, my over thoughts on Batman Detective Comics issue 1083, I think at this point in this run, like I was kind of giving it a chance, but like now that we're up to this point, I'm glad we're finally out of the desert. And yeah, we're getting some beautiful looking artwork with some crazy epic looking images, which I, I can't take this thing away from. Uh, it does look like a very beautifully drawn comic book, at least the, uh, the stuff with Batman in the desert. The other stuff looks fine too, but like I said, the stuff in the deserts where it really kind of shines so we're getting some good stuff in that case but this storyline has dragged on at such a long like it's like in terms of pacing it's gone on for so long that i've just kind of lost interest in it maybe it'll be more exciting if i go back and reread it from the beginning but just kind of like month to month getting each subsequent issues it just feels like it's gone at such a snail's pace and even like kind of getting to this moment uh it feels kind of like oh well we're finally good good i feel relief but at the same time it's like oh my gosh we still have more left to do like each time it feels like it's building to the conclusion it kind of like once it gets to a point it you know slows down again and like drags its feet a little bit more now the best moment for me is the moment where batman comes back i think this shot in particular like with him crushing the car um, coming in with like a bat like entrance like that's that's a good like cheerful moment it's like oh yes batman's back in gotham he's gonna come in here 
they have him kick the asses of the entire Orcam family, and we'll be good to go. Cause, and then after this, I don't really want to see the Orcam family pretty much ever again, unless somebody comes up with a real interesting storyline to do with them. It's also kind of strange trying to figure out, like, how does this all fit in continuity? Like, this, is Failsafe going on before or after this? Um, what about the events of Batman and Robin? I don't know. I feel like Detective Comics has to take place, is it before or after? No, it's it's got to be after the whole fail-safe stuff. So, like, we get that and then that. I don't know. Um, also, where's Damien in this uh, event right now? Like, is he just off somewhere or whatnot? I, I don't exactly know. Um, trying to figure out the continuity of all these storylines. Because, like, Detective Comics, this one has gone on for, what, like, two years right now? It's been going on. It's such a slow, slow pace. And I'm just like, can we get to the point already? <laughs> Um, and like I said, we, we finally get to the big moment of him, you know, overcoming the asthma in this issue and like, you know, being tested, like why he does things the way he does. But uh, like I said, it's, it's gone on for so long that I've kind of lost interest in it. And maybe some people are really into this thing. I don't exactly know. I don't really feel like everyone's like raving so much about detective comics right now, maybe because this is just not your typical Batman storyline. And I don't mind when things kind of take risks and try to do other things, but for two years, and it just going along at this slow of a pace, it feels kind of underwhelming, to tell you the truth. So, But then again, if you read it maybe in, like, one big, like, trade paperback thing, then I'm sure, or, like, an omnibus, if you will, uh, I'm sure it reads a bit better. Uh, but it's just gone on so long that I've really begun to lose interest from where we initially started. So there's a few good moments in here, but it's not enough for me to just say, wow, this Detective Comics book is so good that you all should kind of read it. Because I'm just like, I'm just kind of wait, like, just going through the motions, if you will, at this point, just kind of waiting to get to the end of the storyline. And I think once we move into something else, we get like a new creator behind it. I'm, I'm excited for it just to kind of go back to just some simple back to basics, Batman storyline stuff with some interesting twists and turns and nothing kind of like this. So, but the artwork is pretty, but yeah, uh, I feel like I've rambled on long enough. Uh, thoughts are kind of scattershot, but that's just kind of me on this run in general. I'm just kind of bored by a lot of it at this point aside from a few looking like nice looking art moments because it's just gone on at such a slow pace so but that's just me what do you think of it i want to know your thoughts post your comments down below be sure to like this video share it with your friends subscribe to the youtube channel for more content hit that bell for notifications all that fun stuff uh that's gonna be it for the dc comic book reviews for this week uh we'll be back again next week with some more comic book related stuff um maybe some other things will come out this week as well but only time will tell so all right well that's all i have to say as always take care now bye bye then and i'll see you all in the next video peace out